What's going on guys, this is Matt with an unboxing and review of the new Apple Watch Sport and as the name implies, it's designed to help you keep fit and active throughout the day. The watch comes in two different sizes, 42 or 38 millimeters, and two different colors, either space gray or silver, which is the one I have in 42 millimeters. I want to show you what comes with the Apple Watch Sport and what it's like owning one. So let's get started. When you first open the box, you'll get a hard shell case which holds the Apple Watch. Under that is a quick start guide and the smaller sport band option. Also, there is the 2 meter magnetic charging cable and USB power adapter. Opening up the case, you'll see the Apple Watch Sport with the bands already on it, as well as a few more plastic guides showing you how to put it on your wrist. And that's everything you get inside. Now, let's take a look at the watch. After it powers on, it will ask you what language you want to use, and then it will ask you to pair it with your iPhone. So it'll take a few minutes to get everything set up. Let's talk about the design really quickly. On the front of the watch, you have the strengthened INX glass touchscreen display, which is super resistant to scratches and hits. On the right side is the digital crown, which helps you to navigate through the UI. Also, there is a button below the crown for displaying a list of your contacts. The left side is where you'll find the speaker, and below that is the built-in mic. On the back side, you can see the heart rate sensor covered by the composite plastic, and there's also the interchangeable mechanisms along the top and bottom. Inside is the Taptic engine, which will provide haptic feedback when you receive an alert or notification. You have 8GB of storage, but you can only store up to 2GB of music and 75MB of photos on the watch itself. It connects with Bluetooth 4.0 to your iPhone and has NFC built in with support for Apple Pay, and it uses inductive charging similar to MagSafe like you'd find in MacBooks. The sport bands are made out of a fuller elastomer plastic, which is a really soft and comfortable material. As far as how well it fit, I found for me that the smaller band actually helped it to feel more secure. Of course, there's a bunch of different colors you can get the sport band in, and they cost about $50 each. I've been testing the watch out for a couple days now, and the battery life is actually pretty good. You'll probably still want to charge it every night, but I found that after using it normally with all my app notifications turned on, I was able to get a full day with about close to 20% battery left over, and about 10% less battery on my iPhone than I usually have. It is water resistant, which means you can jump in the shower with it, and it'll be just fine. However, I wouldn't go swimming with it, as it's unfortunately not completely waterproof. The display looks really great on the Apple Watch. It's using a flexible Retina AMOLED screen, which I think looks amazing, especially at night. Basically, anything you do on the device, whether it's checking your fitness activity or just checking the time, will look awesome. I won't go into everything you can do on the watch. Apple has a bunch of videos that I'll have a link to below, but a few of my favorites are being able to customize pretty much any part of the watch faces by force touching or pressing harder on the display. It's also great being able to put third-party apps into the glances view, such as ESPN for easily being able to check sports scores. However, most, if not all third-party apps do run kind of slowly. But I also really like the health and fitness activity rings that break down how you're burning calories throughout the day and how it will notify you if you've been sitting down for too long. It's really smooth and easy to navigate through everything with the digital crown. I think for most people, using the Apple Watch won't be that big of a learning curve after playing around with it for about a day or two. Overall, I think that the Apple Watch Sport is definitely the best smartwatch you can buy. At $399, you're not only getting a great watch, but also a really nice fitness tracker, as well as quick notifications you can act upon right from your wrist. A few things I would improve on. First, faster loading of third-party apps. Secondly, making it completely waterproof. And lastly, I know this would be asking for a lot, but all week battery life would be perfect. Anyway guys, that's about it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, then be sure to subscribe if you aren't already, as it really does help me out. You can also follow me on twitter.com slash coaststormer for live updates and news on all my new content. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.